Hello guys, my name is Annette and the channel is dedicated to all the things I love and care about, uh, starting with astrology and relationships, but today's video is a little bit different and it's all about Britney Spears and when is she going to get out of this conservatorship. I have taken the time and done a little bit of research to look into her own astrology natal chart, which I'm going to go ahead and pop that up so you guys can see her astrology natal chart uh, throughout this video. I'll put it up on the screen so you guys can look at it and see what I'm talking about and basically I'm gonna try my best to guess as to when exactly she's gonna get out of this conservatorship if you uh, like this video would like to continue to watch my videos remember to subscribe give it a thumbs up you know what to do because it helps the alleg YouTube algorithm but anyways this video is all about Britney Spears so in case you don't know what's going on She's been in a conservatorship for 13 years, and she's been put, put through unimaginable things. Um, in February of 2008, she was put in a temporary uh, conservatorship due to the fact that she had a bit of a mental breakdown, and uh, this was only meant to ever be temporary. But her family and people that do not have the best interest in her basically manipulated her and threatened her to agree into making this change permanent by using her kids as a bait. Um, it was always meant to be temporary, but by October of 2008, this change was made permanently. And it's very clearly, by looking at her astrology natal chart, just one look at it, that there's nothing Britney Spears wouldn't do for her kids and for those things that are close to her heart. I mean, you, at that time, you also have to imagine that her kids were very little. They were much younger than they're now. So it is very clear that her family and other individuals around her life that do not have the best interest in her manipulated her into agreeing into being in this conservatorship for this long and making it permanent. So now it's been 13 long years since she's been on this. Recently there was a court where everything that was speculated and suspected was confirmed. She's been put through hell and back. She's been forced to take medication she didn't want to take. She's been forced to go to meetings and all sorts of things and therapies that she she didn't want to do or she wanted to have them in a more private way, uh, in a more um, comfortable way in her home or and whatnot. She's been forced to go to treatment centers. She's been forced to take medication she didn't want to. And I mean hardcore medication like lithium. Lithium that can make you feel like you're drunk and can make it very difficult for you to even be able to hold conversations with other people. She wanted to have more kids. She's been forced to not be able to have any more kids. Basically, these people that were running the conservatorship, they control every aspect of her life. Down to who can take her to the store, down to who can she hang out, she can hang out with, hang out with, and who she can cannot hang out with. Basically, she's been living in a prison. These past 13 years have been literal hell and like a prison for her. So let's get to the good part of this video. Um, I looked, uh, I did quite a bit of research and I looked at her chart and she was put in this conservatorship when she was 26 years old. And it, it's very clearly why what happened happened. Now she's 39 years old. And there's something called the North Node of the Moon and South Node of the Moon. These nodes move uh, astro astrological signs. They move signs every year and a half. And wherever these signs are in the people in in the person's charts, that's the area of life where they're going to experience more action. That's the area of life where things are going to happen: buying houses, getting a new job, getting a car, having a kid, or. Uh, being having uh, spending a lot of time with friends or going through a period where you're very uh, hermit and you're just spending a lot of time a lot of time indoors and whatnot depending on wherever these notes are in your chart that's the area of life where you experience a lot of action so for Brittany currently uh, these notes are in uh, Sagittarius and Gemini so in her so in her life right now where all the action is happening is in between her third house and ninth house. Her, her sun sign is Sagittarius. So basically the nodes are hitting pretty, uh, pretty important areas of her life. Because if the nodes hit um, houses where you have a lot of planets, it, uh, it causes more action, it causes more events to happen. So currently right now the 
south node of the moon is in her third house in Sagittarius with her sun and other planets. So that's where all this action is happening. And then the north node of the moon is in the ninth house in Gemini. So simply put, right now what's going on is she's finally having the ability to kind of start speaking out what's been going on. Because Gemini is all about talking and communication and like spreading that message. And uh, the north node of the moon is where you will see a lot of more action happen. And then the south node of the moon is like you're being cut off from some area of life, but still things are still happening there, but it's more like taking away or lack of. So currently right now, she pretty much for like the past year or so, she hasn't really been doing much in relation to her career. She stopped her residency in Vegas back in 2000, actually last year. Of course, that could have been due to the pandemic, but also she wanted to just take a break from that, you know? So my best guess is that when the these uh, north node of the moons, the south and north node of the moon move to the next sign, that is when Britney Spears will get out of her conservatorship. Many things happening and many concerns, good and positive. So in January of 2022, the 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 nodes will move to the next sign. These these nor uh, moon nodes will move to the next sign, for lack of a better word. So her north south node will move to Scorpio. And her north node will move to Taurus in the 8th house. For her, her north uh, Taurus is in the 8th house. The 8th house is all about secrets, pr prison, getting out of prison, freedom. If, you, if, you're doing good, if you're doing good in life or you're living your life right, uh, you experience freedom or you experience good things. If not, um, when transits in the 8th house are being activated, it's the time in your life where you can get legal issues quite literally go to, to jail or um, secrets come out. Uh, it's also the house of like sex and other things and whatnot and taboos. But uh, for Britney Spears, she has uh, that eighth house is ruled by Taurus and her north node will be moving to the eighth house in January of 2022. It's gonna be there for a year and a half. So from January of 2022 all the way to June of 2023, um, there's going to be a lot of action going on in that house. And also, um, her south node will be looking at that house from, the, her south node will be in the second house of Scorpio. Uh, Scorpio rules the eighth house. So that's a double, double whammy as to what's to come. So I think, uh, during the next year and a half, not right now, but in between January of 2022 and uh, June of 2023, that's when this conservatorship is really gonna hit the fan and that's when she's gonna get out of it. So I'm interrupting this video really quick because I went ahead and narrowed down the days even further down to the exact weeks. So my prediction is this conservatorship will end between August the 20th and October the 11th of 2022 of next year. And there's several reasons why I believe this. When she got in the conservatorship originally, back in 2008, she was going through some Venetian, Venus transits. Planet Venus, which is, a, which is actually uh, her planet. She, um, that's the planet that represents uh, Britney Spears, or like she has a lot of Venus in her. Um, I'll talk about that in a different video, but basically she was going through a big, huge Venus transit when she got in, into the conservatorship back in 2008. And it so happens that next year, between August and October, 11th, she will be going uh, once again through a Venus transit. So this is the time that I believe the conservatorship will end once and for all. I'm concerned. I'm concerned that something bad will happen to her, but I'm also really excited to see uh, her getting, getting her freedom back because all these aspects are getting like activated in her chart of like freedom and finally like out of this like, like little bubble that she's been living in and finally like her being able to speak her truth and like nasty and ugly things that you couldn't even imagine will come out during this time. I'm a hundred percent certain of it. Um, looking ahead, uh, if she can get through this period amicably and get out of this conservatorship um, in a good way, you know, if she can get out in a 
in a good place without too much, you know, it's going to go down. It's not going to be easy. But if she can get out of this conservatorship in a good way, um, hopefully in a very healthy way, there's a lot of good things coming her way. So basically, I my prediction is that at age 40, sometime during her 40th year of life, she will the ter this uh, conservatorship will be terminated. But it's going to go down. Rebirth, transformations, potential threats, dangerous threats. But also secrets coming out. Things coming out to light. And I think she's going to need a break from this. I think she's going to need a break after this is all said and done. And what I see for her in the future, specifically age 42 and forward, I see her getting very creative. And if she can get through this, oh my God, she's going to she's gonna tap into this very creative and like new businesses, new adventures, new venues that she's going to go into. I mean, if, <laughs> I don't have to look at her astrology natal chart to predict this, but if I had to guess, she's probably going to write a book. I mean, the world wants to know. The world wants to know right now, you know? But I think when she's ready and whatnot, she, she's probably going to write a book, um, and she's going to tap into many venture, uh, venues. I don't know if she's going to continue seeing or whatnot. I think she probably will, but age 42 and forward, 40, um, her, once she turns 42 and the next seven years after that, it's going to be a very creative time for her and like coming up with new venues of making money and new uh, creative ideas and coming up with new products and whatnot. So I see very positive things coming her way um once she can get through this period but i mean what's coming through her what's coming uh for her in the next couple of months it's not gonna be easy guys so we need to keep praying for britney free britney let's continue this movement we need to keep letting her know whether it's doing you know people in, in california doing protests and making these videos uh we need we need to pray for britney and we need to continue to push this movement because our pop star needs us and uh, it's not right what they've done to her and what they put her through and I'm sure she's not the first case. She's just, she's just being, I think she's just going to be like the spokesperson for conservatorships maybe being like just not a good idea in general, you know, unless they merit. But I mean, the girl obviously does not have dementia. The girl, all the reasons that supposedly she was put into the conservatorship, the girl is a boss bitch. <laughs> The girl has been uh, doing concerts and creating new music through all these 13 years. She does not need to be in this conservatorship. And she does, no one needs to be controlling her life. You know, so anyways, that's what I have to say about this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know this is not like a video that I normally would film, but I think it needed to be done. And uh, I'm all about the free Britney. Let's do this. And... Uh, I also wanted to finish with one last thing. Um, let me look at my notes here really quick. So I had to, it was a lot. <laughs> Let's see what else I wanted to say. Um, I also see maybe potentially her having a new um, interest, a new partner, a new love partner, uh, June of next year. Some action in the love department, whether it's with Sam, who's the current person he's, she's with right now, taking that thing to the next level, or someone else new coming in. But I see some love coming in for, my, for our girl, Britney Spears. Some action in that department. June of, tw June of 2021. June of next year. So uh, that's all I want to say on that. Um, I'm hesitant about this one. I feel like something, something um, emotionally difficult might happen to Britney Spears' father um, when she turns 42. I don't know exactly what it is, but I think um, Britney Spears' father may have um, some health issues or something uh, taxing on his body will happen to him on age 42. I'll leave it at that because I don't want to get too ahead of head because Britney right now is 39 years old. Our girl turns 40 uh, this December, this year. And she has a battle to fight. She has a long ways to go. So anyways, this concludes this video. I hope you guys like it. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, um, yeah, put a comment down below, uh, subscribe, you know, just 
do whatever your little heart desires. 